Hi guys, it's Snow Kate. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my June favorites for you. I have a ton of stuff here, so let's get started, okay? Let's start with makeup because, I mean, that's what you're all here for. I just dropped a bunch of stuff. Okay, here is my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. This is my favorite. I've tried a lot of the new contour palettes, and I like this one the best because these are four colors that I actually use. Like the Kat Von D palette, it's just too dark for my pale skin. Uh, the NYX one is good, but there's just so many colors that I don't use. You've got light cocoa, and this one is a matte highlighter shade. I do this brow bone down the nose. This is great for the summertime because personally I sweat a lot and I don't need any extra shine on my face. So I take this under the eyes. It's great to brighten up the under eye area. And it's just great to highlight your face without adding any extra sparkle because I am doing enough. Uh, medium cocoa. This is the one I contour my face with. You know, size of the nose, uh, under the chin, get rid of that double chin. This one is dark cocoa. And this one I like to use to bronze my face. This one's a little more warm toned and medium cocoa is more cool toned. And then you have Pop of Light. This one, I'm not going to lie, this does have some glitter in it. I don't know if you can... Am I blending, you guys? I don't know if you can see the glitter in the Pop of Light. It's okay. I brought this to Vegas, and you know what? It was nice to have that glittery color. Also, it comes with this little contour bouquet, it says on it. It's one of their little teddy bear hair brushes. It's really soft. It's a really nice quality brush. Usually when I get the brushes that come with the sets, you just chuck them right away. So this works great to really, you know, get in there. And if you're traveling, this is all you need. You got your highlight, you got your bronzer, you got your contour, and you have the brush. And the brush actually works. And it smells like chocolate. I mean, who doesn't love that? All right, <clears throat> let's stick with the face. I've been doing this lately. I have my MAC. Pro Longwear Foundation in the color NW15. I'm pale. Man, I've used a lot of this. It's down to here. And then, really cheap product. The NYC Smooth Skinish BB Cream 5-in-1 Bronze Radiance. This is in the color Light. And this is really dark. I mean, it's dark for a super pale person. If you have some color to you, then it's probably too light. I feel like I'm talking super fast. So this is what this color looks like. You can see it's it's really pretty. Obviously way too dark for me. And my NW15 is actually too light for me right now. And this is really matte. So I like mixing the two together. This gives this a little glow. Warms it up a little bit. Matches my skin tone really well. This is what I have on today. I love it. And I didn't even bring a towel. I totally am using a baby's pull-up. I just bought a box and they're sitting right here. Can't get much trashier than that, right? All right, next is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus. I'm sure everybody loves this. This is just a great powder. It's, um, it's perfect, except, especially for the summertime. This gets rid of your shine. This has a little bit of coverage on it, so if you put on a foundation, you know, or a BB cream, what I really like, I'll talk about this next. Take a BB cream, throw this on there, and you've got some great coverage. I mean, it's not full coverage, but it's decent coverage, and it's nice. I love this powder. Love it. It uh, helps so you don't crease under your concealer, under your eyes. It's a great product. Let's go into what I've been wearing very often lately. I've tried, I went to the drugstore once and I got every single BB cream that they sold. This is my favorite. This is L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB in Fair. I think L'Oreal has a couple different BB creams. This is my favorite. This one comes out white. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's totally white. Can you see that? And then you rub it and it turns your skin color. I love it. It matches my skin perfectly. It's fair. It works for me in the summer and the winter. This gives really good coverage for a BB cream. I would say this is 
slightly more coverage than a tinted moisturizer. And then to give it a lot of cover, I'm going back to the diaper. To really help give it coverage, I've been using my It Cosmetics uh, Celebration Foundation Illumination. The black one is just the regular Celebration Foundation. The white one is Illumination. My color is in light. <clears throat> it's a little dark for me for the winter months, but it's perfect in the summer. I have Fair for the winter. It's really soft, and this gives you really good coverage all on its own. I like it better with a BB. I think they work perfect. I get almost full coverage out of these two. I love it. So I use this with this It Cosmetics brush. I have no idea what it's called. It's double-ended. This is great, but mine comes off. Probably not the best brush. I guess I could glue it or something. I do like this to get under the eyes and stuff. Great, great product. All right, <clears throat> one more face product. My Tarte Maracuja Miracle Found Sealer. This is supposed to be a foundation and concealer in one. I got this in one of the sets from QVC. It's kind of interesting. It has the eyedropper. You know, you drop, do a couple drops. I think you're supposed to be able to do your whole face in two drops. I probably do my whole face in three drops. And then I just take it, drop it. This is the brush that it comes, the set comes with. It's an amazing brush. Uh, I don't know, tart brush. It's kind of angled and you're supposed to ch -ch 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 pat it on. I do about three drops on the brush. Put it, I just kind of go doink, 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 and then rub it in all over. And then I take the stick and I rub the stick because it'll have extra concealer or foundation on it. Rub it under my eyes. Get in there. Perfect. This feels like you have nothing on your face. It feels like you're rubbing lotion on your face. I haven't tried it. What is it called? Like Paracone or something? Um, I think this is going to be similar. It's just straight like water liquid. Gives really good coverage though. Try it out. Great for summertime. Feels like you have nothing on your skin. I would say it's medium to full coverage. Brush is great too. All right. Next, this is the palette I've been using the most so far this summer, or not summer, the month of June. My Tartlet palette, I just think it's great. It's perfect. I have all sorts of palettes and look at this Gigantor mirror on here. Colors, you got some purples, you got some browns, you got a black, you got highlighting colors. It's perfect, it's all matte. I love it, again, I took this to Vegas. Only palette I brought, it was perfect. I could do a smoky eye with black. Love it, highly recommend. And, oh, something I wanna say about the Tarte. I love the, I don't know, the consistency of these powders. I have, let me see if I can grab it. I have a water ring on it. They're Lorac Shadows. I'm gonna do another video soon. Their Lorac Shadows are really, really soft and I make a mess with these things. It doesn't look bad now because I cleaned it up. But they're so soft and powdery that, I mean, I do my eyeshadow and I got powder everywhere. And something that nobody ever talks about, the Kat Von D eyeshadow palette and the contour palette, everybody says how much they love them, they blend easily, blah, blah, blah. Yes, they do, but those are so soft and I get the biggest mess with those, with those products. I think they're even messier than the Lorac powders. So I do my eyeshadow with that and they're just everywhere. And also they just blend too easily, so I just have like muddy eye looks all the time. I'm not a fan of that palette. It'll probably be in my... I think I'm gonna do a video of my unfavorites for June, because I really do have a lot. Okay, so this is a favorite. Let's go to eyes. These, This is my Z palette I got, and it's full of MAC stuff. MAC just had a really good sale. Spend $50, you get $10 off for each 50 you spend. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Um, maybe I'll do a MAC haul video. Let me know if you want one. Thumbs up if you want a MAC haul. I got a lot of stuff. So my favorite eyeshadow, which is what I have on right now, is Quarry. Let me hold it up. It's kind of like a gray, purpley, almost brown. Oh, these are so soft. I'll put it right here. Can you see that color there? This is the only eyeshadow I have on my eyes right now. And it's just, sorry for giving you the finger. It's just perfect. 
I have this, I have no other eyeshadows on my eyes right now. I have it under, I just put it in and then I just fluff it all the way up into the transition. Just this color alone, Quarry by MAC, it's perfect. And it kind of reminds me of like the Mila Kunis look. She has kind of like a soft smoky eye and then she always does like a pale lip. Kind of what I was going for today. I use this all the time, Quarry. You can get a one color look with that. I love it. Also what I'm wearing is Prism Blush by MAC. This is just your great kind of neutral color. It's right here. It's not really peachy, pink, tan, beige. Does it even show up on my skin? Yeah, right there. I love it. This is what I have on my only blush today. I love it. It's just perfect. It's great when you have a smoky eye, if you're just going for a natural look. Greatest, greatest blush. This is Prism by MAC. And let's see. I actually got this look from uh, Jacqueline Hill. This is Amber Lights and Copper Ring. Mix these two together. She has the most beautiful eyes anyways, and it looks great with her hair. These two mix together. You just get a big fluffy brush and mix between the two back and forth. Put it on your eyes, and it makes your blue eyes pop. I love it. Let me swatch these for you. This is Copper Ring. This is copper ring. Let me get on each finger. And this is amber lights. Can you see those two colors? Look at how pigmented those are. So you mix them together. Let's do a little of both. Amber lights, copper ring. I'm gonna mix them on top of each other. You just get this like gorgeous, orangey, burnt orange, gold, amazingness. I love it. Highly recommend those two. If you're gonna buy for MAC eyeshadows or blushes or like this is taupe to contour with, get just the pans. They're 10 bucks for the pans, otherwise they're $16 to come in the little cases. And who needs that ta eyeshadows taking up that much space? That's what I'm trying to say. All right, a few more products. The Pore Professional uh, Primer, I got the baby size because I've been a Smashbox primer girl forever and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try this, see what the hype's about. I love it. I love it. This isn't clear. It has a little bit of color to it. I don't know if you can see that. Again, it has a plastic wand even though I don't usually like those. It has a kind of little ball on the end so you can just really get in there. These two together are magic. This is what I have on my eyes right now. Love it. Okay. Uh, favorite lip liner is MAC Subculture. It's just the perfect color. I'm going to put it right here. Can you see it? It's kind of like a muted, like, pinky, brownish, beige. It's just kind of, if you just want to, I don't know, you just want a liner, but you don't want, like, color pretty much. It's pretty much the color of your lips. It's not darker, it's not lighter. I do over exaggerate my upper lip a little bit just because why not? Subculture, love it. Another liner or pencil is, I never hear anybody talk about this. This is the Bare Minerals Brow Pencil. Nobody ever talks about this. I think this is better than the Anastasia one. I think the Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil it's really expensive and it's kind of it's really soft and you go through them so fast it's almost like they did that on purpose it's a super skinny pencil just like the Anastasia one am I saying that weird it sounds like it's coming out weird Anastasia Anastasia whatever it's got the spoolie on the end with the cover and this is universal taupe I do believe there's two colors at Sephora this one's from Sephora. I did get a two pack of these on QVC for like 20 bucks. These are $16 at Sephora. So I've been buying these for a while. I've probably, I've gone through three of them. Love it. My other brow product is Gimme Brow by Benefit. I got this because everybody else did, why not? It's got a little teeny, tiny little wand on it and I love it. This is in the color, light medium, the lightest color, it's perfect. I tried a lot of the drugstore ones, like the NYX and stuff, and they're just too, like, orange-yellow for me. 
or they're too brown, too dark. So this one's perfect. I just, uh, let's see. I will do either this or this. I don't combine them. I don't know. I don't like the big whole, whole like made out brows. Like you see a lot of girls that their brows look amazing on YouTube. But when you see them in person, it's like, whoa, they look good on camera. They look good at a distance. But up close, it's like, yeah, I can see your brows are fake. So I like these. I like more the natural brow. I love these. My cat is crying. Favorite lipstick is MAC Pure Zen. This is what I have on right now. Can you hear the cat? Pure Zen is just kind of like a peachy nude color. Do you see that there? And I brought some other lipsticks. Let's just go all the way down my arm. So this is Pure Zen. This is the one on my lips. And then I have the Subculture uh, liner on. This is Cream Cup. I love me some Cream Cup too, but I think I like Pure Zen better. Cream Cup is more pink. This is Kinda Sexy. Kinda Sexy is a little more darker. See that one? Kinda Sexy is a matte. Pure Zen, Cream Cup is a cream sheen. Pure Zen is a cream sheen, that's my favorite. And then here is Creme de Nude Cream Sheen. I can't do Creme de Nude on its own. It just doesn't look right on me. So here's the colors just to see what, you know, if you need to have this or not. Pure Zen, I love it. So that's on my lips right now. I need to wipe my arm off because I will get it all over. Oh, I do have a couple more makeup products. My favorite brush, one of my favorite brushes, is this Real Techniques powder brush. It's just big and soft and I love it. I use this to apply my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. Love this brush. You can buy these at Kohl's. I don't know if people know you can get them at Kohl's. You can use any of your discounts. Like if you have a Kohl's charge, you get like 30% off. They have these buy one, get one half a lot. They're great. Go get them. Another one I love is Eco Tools Airbrush Concealer. I use this with my Coco Contour Palette. I take this with the lightest shade and I go under my eyes. It works beautifully. I use this on my brow bone. Love this brush. Eco Tools. You can get these at Kohl's.com. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them at Walgreens. I love. I have another one. This is my Eco Tools domed bronzer brush how amazing is this i think this was 10 bucks it's so soft okay two more makeup products these are the Lorac front of the line pro eyeliners i don't hear anybody talk about these i think these are just as good if not better than the kat von d i am not i i'm like talking a lot of crap about kat von d i love her i love her tattoos i love her makeup but these are good too. These are really similar. Here, can you see the fine tip? Look how small that tip is. This is in black. Do you see how black that is? And you can get really, really fine. And then it kind of has like the spring-loaded cover just like hers. This has the brush tip that doesn't, it stays hard, it stays perfect. I also have it in dark brown. A little tip for the light-eyed girls. Get a brown liner, get a brown mascara. Chocolate brown lightens your eye, or it just brightens your eyes. It looks great with light eyes. Get yourself a brown liner, brown mascara. Try it, you'll love it. Okay, oh, I just keep coming up with more makeup. Lorac Lipsticks, this one is in Goddess. It's kind of like a purple color. It kind of gives you like the, it's like purple, gray, beige. It gives you like the dead girl lips. Okay, that's a really heavy swatch. It gives you like the dead girl lips and I love it. It sounds creepy, but these last forever. I'll They'll last me like four or six hours at work. This is Dutch's. This one has lasted like eight hours on my lips. It's just a pretty nude. These smell so good. They smell just like the vanilla, like the Mac. You can get those at Kohl's. You can get them at Sephora. And I have the matching lip gloss too, but I don't know. I like the lipsticks better. So this is Goddess and Duchess. They're fantastic. And that is it with makeup.
These are my favorite sunglasses. I got these off of Amazon for like, I think they were seven bucks. They're perfect. They fit good. They're not too tight. They have the mirrored uh, aviators. That's what I wanted. They're super dark. I don't know if you can see. They're super dark. Like they're great for driving. I love them. They kind of remind me of Maverick from Top Gun. They have a little crown here. I'm going to find the link and I'm going to put them below. Uh, a couple more randoms. Uh, necklaces. <clears throat> this is a Kate Spade necklace I got off of Amazon. It has a K for Kate. On the back, it says one in a million. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a pretty little necklace. It's like this. I absolutely love it. I wear it just about every day when I'm wearing gold. When I'm wearing silver, I wear this necklace. I had this made off of Etsy. It's just like this big steel bar, and on it I have coordinates engraved. I had it, um, I'll find the link on Etsy, the girl that did it. She was amazing. She communicated really well, uh, just making sure that everything was correct. I have the coordinates for Vegas because that's where I got married. I got St. Paul, Minnesota because that's where me and my husband are born and raised. And then I also have uh, the city where my children, where the hospital was where my children were born. So, I love that necklace. Hair care, let's go there. Ooh, I rhymed. This is the Fakai uh, Hair Fragrance Mist in the Cream Vanilla. It smells so good. It smells like the shampoo and conditioners in the blue bottles. I love this. You spray it in your hair, It smell, you just smell it all day. You know, as you're working or doing whatever, it just kind of, you just smell it. And if anybody comes near you, they give you a hug or anything, they smell your hair and they will tell you how delicious you smell. All right, let's see. Let's continue with hair. My favorite leave-in conditioner is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I love it. I use it in my hair. I use it in my daughter's hair. I just love it. I probably have gone through like 10 bottles of that. This is my new shampoo and conditioner that I got. This is the L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care New Smooth Intense Ultimate Straight Straightening Shampoo and Conditioner. So this is kind of a crazy set because you have to buy a whole bunch of stuff, which sucks, but it does save you time. I'll let you know in a second. First you use the shampoo, and then you use the uh, Smooth Intense Ultimate Straight straight Boosting. You use the pre-conditioner. So you shampoo, you rinse, use the pre-conditioner. You let that sit for a minute, and then you put the regular conditioner in. And then, I don't know, I just shave my legs, and then that's like three minutes later. Rinse it all out, and then uh, towel dry your hair, and use the straight perfecting balm. And then I just use well first I do my leave-in conditioner, and then I do the balm, and you use like a dime size, just rub it, get it all over in your hair, blow dry your hair, and your hair will blow dry straight like mine. I didn't use a flat iron, my hair is totally straight, and this is second day hair, so I can go three days with perfectly straight. Hair. I have dry skin, dry hair, so I don't get too greasy. So, yeah, I love it. Smooth, intense, ultimate, straight. L'Oreal. Love it. Okay. I think that's it for hair. Next up is body stuff. This is my favorite. It's by the brand Moon's Harvest. I did a haul video on them before. I have another haul video I'm going to do because I just got summer stuff. Sugar Whipped Body Scrub in Raspberry Zinger. It's kind of funny, uh, the body sprays, they look like this. I got a whole bunch of them and I asked my daughter, she is, she's almost six. She was in kindergarten and she wanted her own body spray, like perfume like mom. I asked her what kind she wanted because they have so many smells. She said she wanted coconut, raspberry, and a cupcake. That's what she wanted it to smell like. And this smell, ra Raspberry Zinger, that's what it smells like. And it's awesome. So she got the spray and I loved it so much. I got the body scrub. I love these. This is my second one. The other one I had was ooey gooey cotton candy. That was fabulous. This one. Oh, it smells so good. These are so moisturizing. You rub this all over your body. It's just a sugar scrub. But sugar whipped body scrub. Uh, you don't need a lotion after this. I hate lotioning my body. Just ever. I hate this feeling of lotion, the greasy on your hands. So you do this in the bath, in the shower, to your legs, to your whole body. 
and you're all moisturized. It smells delicious and you can still smell it on your skin later. Not a lot, but you can smell it and your bathroom will smell like this for the rest of the day. So that is Raspberry Zinger from Moon's Harvest. I will link below. This is the Moon's Harvest Fragrance Body Mist. This is in cotton candy. I love this for the summertime. This is more of like an oil based. It's not just your normal body spray from Bath and Body Works. It has an oil in it. It's good for your skin. It says spritz lightly onto skin or hair, in the air or on linens, pets to refresh, and anywhere else you would like to add a fragrant aroma. So this is cotton candy. This just has more staying power because it has like actual stuff in there. It doesn't have alcohol in it. It's not going to dry you out. I love this. Mine is in cotton candy. I probably have like 10 of these. So fortune cookie soap, you've probably seen my videos or someone else's videos. It's 20 bucks uh, every three months. Comes out, they have it seasonal boxes. The last one is Peter Pan. With your box, you get a $10 coupon for something else from the site. I probably spent like $80 because I love the Peter Pan set. This is the Lost Boys. It smells like apricot and some other stuff. It's really light. I just love it. I usually spray this all over me before I go to bed. It, does anybody else spray perfume and stuff on you before you go to bed? I don't know. It just makes me feel good. I love that. Okay, my favorite perfume lately has been Philosophy's Falling in Love. This, to me, is like a grown-up version of cotton candy. I love sweet smells. I think I might do a video of all my sweet-smelling fragrances. Falling in Love, I love it. It's not too badly priced. You can see I'm down to there, and I bought this, I think, in March. I use it all the time. I get compliments all the time. It lasts a long time. I love this. And I don't like a lot of the other philosophy scents. They kind of smell old lady to me. But that one I love. Next up is the Body Shop's Body Butter in Strawberry. I love this. It smells just like real strawberries. It smells like a juicy strawberry. So you rub it all over your body. You know I hate rubbing lotion on myself. I just said that. This included. I hate rubbing it on myself. But... My hands are dry. I basically just put it on my hands and at night and then when I wake up they feel great still. Okay, almost done. Just a few more face products. Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus. This is just one of the samples. It's down to there. I have like three more of these because I just bought a bunch of Clinique stuff. I love this. This is my favorite lotion. It, I have really dry skin and this just soaks up really quick and I like to use this during the day before I put my primer on. Next, I have a lot of Clinique products coming up. This was, wasn't, I'm not being paid by Clinique. It'd be cool if I was, but I'm not. This is the Moisture Surge Face Spray, Thirsty Skin Relief Spray. Oh, that's not English. So this is just one of these sprays, like a finishing spray. I love this. Um, when I'm too lazy to put lotion on my face, I just spray this on my face. I am down to about there. I think I got this again in March from Sephora. I love this. Uh, it's just, I put it on after I do my foundation. I do, or not my foundation, my powders. I do it again after I'm done with my whole face. It just kind of like makes the powders like sink into your face. I love it. And you can just like refresh your face throughout the day. Next up, I got, uh, this is my Mia 2. Clarisonic, and I use this with my Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. These work great together. I use it probably every other day. I have really sensitive skin. I have like the sensitive one on here. Um, I love it. It just makes me feel clean. As I said before, I have really dry skin. I get the crusty skin. This helps to just take it off. Um, I still exfoliate probably every three days or so, like a really good like scrubby exfoliator. I like these. They work good together. They're both pink. Okay, lastly is Clinique's All About Eyes Rich. This is an eye cream. I've been using this for probably three months, and it's not, I mean, I put a divot in it, but it's not that bad. I have, I get like the dry, I don't notice it until I put makeup on, and then like an hour later, I can see it kind of like, just kind of crusty over here, and it's just my skin gets crusty, it gets dry. And I've noticed a big difference with this. It just kind of moisturizes under the eyes. I don't have really puffy eyes. I don't have dark circles. I don't know. I just like it. It says, all about eyes rich, reduces circles, puffs, and a whole bunch of stuff that's not English. Fragrance free. I think all of Clinique is fragrance free. It's good for sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin. 
I feel like I can usually count on Clinique skincare to just not bother my skin and do what it's supposed to do. I love Clinique. Again, not sponsored. All right, that's it. Uh, what do you guys think? I just got my hair blonder. I usually go between black or blonde hair. I still have black underneath. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm totally a scrub with my old navy shirt on and some yoga pants, but whatever. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe. Click thumbs up. Click thumbs down. If you don't like it, that's okay. I can handle it. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. I totally wanted to just add a little clip at the end of this video. I, I, I love the Roller Lash Mascara. I use it all the time, but I've never put the Roller Lash on my bottom lashes. Can you see? I've only had it on for about an hour, and it's all under my eyes. Can you see that? So I don't recommend Roller Lash on your bottom lashes. Use something else. It is good on the top. I don't think I have anything up there. And I mean, I use it all the time, and I use it like at work, outside sweating, and it's fine. And right now, I'm just sitting at home filming, and an hour later, I have mascara all down here. So.